In this video, I'll show you how you can add audio to the Timeline widget. I'm Paul Wilson, and I make videos about e-learning, specifically the authoring tool Adobe Captivate. About 87% of you who watch my videos are not actually subscribed to my channel. So I'd like to reach out and ask for one favor, that you hit the subscribe button and make sure that you're subscribed. That way, of course, uh, you'll of course receive notification each time I publish a new video. And also, it's absolutely free to do so. All right, so one of the things that's come up with the all new Adobe Captivate Release 13 is the ability to add audio to the different nodes within the widgets. And the one we're gonna look at today is the Timeline widget. It's super easy to do, and it certainly creates for, not necessarily a more interactive interaction, but certainly a more dynamic one that satisfies the needs of your stakeholders and of course your students. Let's take a look. All right, so we have a simple timeline here that I've set up with a lovely background and a little bit of American history here. And it's so simple to add audio to each of these timeline items. We click on the little icon that's there and we go into our interactions icon. And you'll see that when I click on that, I have the opportunity to add the action to play media. I've already prepared some audio narration for this. So all I simply need to do is click on browse, navigate to where I have those and select the first one and press open. Click done. We're going to repeat that for 1775. Click on browse node number two and we'll click done. Here's the third one. We browse to where we have the audio for that item. Click done. And 1787, the last one here. We'll go and browse to node number four, click open, and then done. So let's preview this and see what it's like. All right, so we see our timeline items. Let's click on the first one. The British Parliament passed the Stamp Act, taxing printed materials in the colonies. This sparked widespread protest and the rallying cry of no taxation without representation, planting the early seeds of American independence. Now let's click on the second one. Armed conflict broke out between colonial militias and British troops at Lexington and Concord. The 13 colonies united in rebellion, forming the Continental Army under George Washington's command. And we'll go ahead and do the third one. The Continental Congress formally adopted the Declaration of Independence, written primarily by Thomas Jefferson. The colonies declared themselves free and independent states, no longer subject to British rule. And before I click on the fourth one, let me just point out that we do have our next button down here. And if I press that, nothing happens because that button is disabled. One of the key benefits of all of the widgets like this in the all new Adobe Captivate is that you can force navigation of this particular slide. So ensure that all of your learners actually visit all of the material before they move forward. So let's go ahead and click the fourth one, but pay attention to the next button. Delegates met in Philadelphia to draft the U.S. Constitution establishing the framework for the nation's government. Ratified in 1788, it replaced the Articles of Confederation and remains the supreme law of the land. And of course, your students can now press the next button and proceed with the rest of the e-learning course. If you thought this video was helpful, please like and share it with your colleagues. If you need help with Adobe Captivate, hire Paul for one-on-one -on -one instruction. Paul's goal is to focus on lessons based on your specific needs. Visit his website at CaptivateTeacher.com and don't forget to subscribe to his YouTube channel.